Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Manoj Web, where my goal is to make your front-end life easier. In this week's video, I will be showcasing my Webmasters project for PSA, Technology Student Association, right here. Uh, I will be showing you my project, I will show you what I did, I will show you all the files that I used, and what basically what it's about. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this is the my project for webmasters space training .app. the link will be in description so you have this basically page which tells you, you you can become an astronaut you can go to about us it will tell you who we are our promotion our promoting ourselves our flyer our documentation which we needed for TSA so that's why I have that there credibility like some success stories which you just made up costs leading to the other pages membership plans we have these this table training costs talking about all the tutors that you can select from facility costs we sure these accordions I made a video on how to make this if you want to check that out stages which you can just go to all the stages of the of the learning phase like what you will do each stage of it and then the registration form you can just fill it out and the registration will be saved on the data table database and we also have this cool animation when you hover over it as you can see it goes to the right I learned that from code pen like somebody's code pen so this is what we did the theme was space tourism a company that makes you an astronaut so we had to build something like this I also have a contact info if you want to contact the facility it has your email phone number and location and like these ones and then we have the FAQ frequently asked questions how long does it last can our family visit where they are and they link to the other pages so that's the website itself now I'll show you the code that I used for this so as you can see right here this is all the code and these are all the files that we have so I have my CSS files I had a lot of different CSS files for like different aspects of the page I have my documentation which I just linked to I have all the fonts I used and their licenses and I also have the video which is the background video and the images that I used then I have all my HTML files and my JS files this is the accordion file which makes an accordion basically and that's pretty much the main stuff so this may seem overwhelming but a lot of this stuff was repeated as well so like and this was dragged out over a long period of time as well so this was like a few weeks at least so that's why even if it does look really long right now it's it we had a lot of time to do this so I have my git ignore file it's on github as well if you want to check that out I'll put a link to my github with this all this stuff on the description below as well so these are all the files now let's talk about why I did it this way so let's look at the page real quick so I got this idea for this website like this design from this other website called spaceperspective.com if you see the website you can tell there's some similarities like the top nav bar it was based on this and the background video I didn't add the parallax scrolling like you can see over here how it like shifts into the other things I didn't add that or so it's relatively short but I was inspired because of this website this is what inspired this whole team for this website and that was the reason I was gonna add a logo for the home as well but I couldn't really create one that well and this one that I have for from I think about us yeah this one it didn't really work well but around here but that's why I created it like this with the inspiration from space perspective and the registration how I got registration working was because I'm using I'm using netlify.app or netlify.com which is a free web server it has this uh, it has this tag that you can just attach to your form element so if I show this or attribute why is that not showing up there let 
let me open the code and I'll show you there because for some reason that I, that attribute is not showing up on here. So in the registration at HTML at the in the form, I have this Netlify attribute right here. This attribute basically tells it that whatever whenever we submit the form, it will automatically send all the data to the Netlify.com database because it has it's compatible with this. So whenever I submit this, all the data that I put in it will go to the Netlify database and I can see that all that data. That's pretty much what the website is about. If you have any questions about how I, how I made one of the parts or like I made something work, you can put them in the comments and I'll make another video elaborating on that. And that's pretty much it for this website. We have the logo, we have the home, everything. If you have any questions about anything, you can put them in the comments and make sure to hit that subscribe button, like this video and wait for the next TSA showcase where I showcase my video game design game.